Welcome in PLC Smart Tip video. In this video, we show how to update your block calls as easy as possible. So, for example, here we have two function blocks, motors. These blocks are same. And when you change the interface of this block, for example, we insert here one output variable <coughs> with name status for example okay we save it and when we go back to the block when we where we call these blocks how we can see they are red because they need to update the block call how you can see you can do it like that you right click on the function block and click on the update block call Okay, you see the old interface and the new interface of the block. But the problem is you need to do this individually for all the blocks which are changed their interface. So next we want to click on the another function block and again click on the update block call. And okay, but there is also more easy way to how to do it on the one click so we go back to the function block motor we delete this variable status and how we can see again we need to make a update block call for the both function blocks but also you can click only on the function update inconsistent block calls and this update all the inconsistent blocks in your PLC software so we just click on it and we update all inconsistent block calls so I think this is the more easy than the click on the every inconsistent block in your software and then click on the update block calls you just click on the function update inconsistent block calls and you are done so thank you for watching this video and goodbye